Hey, what's good, everybody? It's your boy BQ here. This is the Impact Lounge YouTube channel. I got a DM uh, about an hour or so ago, and I'm seeing it all over social media um, about what Tommy, you know, I love Tommy Dreamer. Uh, what Tommy Dreamer said on Busted Open that Impact is getting ready to record a couple months of television um, in one set of tapings, so we don't know exactly where the tapings are going to be from. Now, from what I understood, t uh, tonight's show is the last one in Atlanta. But that's weird to me because I thought they uh, did two days in Atlanta. So I would have thought that would have been four episodes, even if the TNA show fell into that. So I know some of you on the channel have actually been to those tapings. So please, you know, let me know in the comments, um, you know, any feedback you have on how the tapings worked. If it was you know, really just a couple episodes and then the, the TNA show. But um, that's unfortunate because I've really enjoyed, I say really enjoyed, but I only saw the one episode, um, what they're doing in Atlanta because the, the fan base has been engaged and, you know, and everything. So um, we'll see where this happens from, you know, where this happens. And this is going to be a big challenge for Impact doing a empty arena show. Now, of course, we're going to get the trolls saying that's what the shows are normally like. You know, you already know that's going to happen. But... Um, this is this is a challenge for them to step up and hopefully do something a little bit different. I watch the AEW shows. I don't, you know, you know, I don't watch WWE. And even though I, from what I understand, WrestleMania was very well received, you know, I, from what I kind of read online with Raw and SmackDown, it was just like they were doing the show the same exact way, just that there was no fans. And um, with AEW, you know, they tried a few different things. To just deliver the product different you know the first episode they had a lot of wrestlers in the crowd and you know and then uh second episode they were kind of they weren't so much in a crowd but they were doing backstage stuff watching and you know betting on the matches and just just doing things different they actually had a fan in there to where you could see when brandy rhodes was uh announcing uh the, the wrestlers that her hair was blowing so i don't know if that was just done to give some kind of you know life to the screen I don't really know, but I just know that they were able to pull this off. So this is a challenge for Impact to present the show a little bit differently. Um, maybe, you know, some of these guys can get it in there and cut, you know, if they do in-ring promos, not focus so much on the fans, obviously. You know, maybe they're going to be more loose, more laid back. I commented the other day that some of Impact's promo work and the acting is, is starting to go, you know, down a little bit from, what we're previously, I mean, not previously, but from what we're accustomed to, from what we're used to seeing and hearing. So, you know, a couple months, th this poses the question, too, what's the status of Rebellion? Are they going to actually take that Rebellion card and make it slam adversary? You know, because I, I can't imagine the matches they've been building so far, they're just going to throw them away. I have a feeling that's going to carry over to slam adversary. I'm going to try to get some answers. But, you know, I hope that Impact, as I said, takes this opportunity to just do something different, you know, uh, maybe switch up the broadcasting team a little bit. Maybe, you know, I would love that. Uh, maybe, you know, present something within the matches a little bit different. Now, with the other companies, you know, they have a ring announcer that's in the ring and we can see them. You know, how is how is Impact going to deliver that? Um, you know, because now the visuals are going to be a lot more important. So we'll see. This is going to be very interesting how they tape this because... Once we see these, watch these episodes, we're going to have an idea if they're building towards Slam Anniversary instead of Rebellion or whatever. Because they obviously have to have a lot of ideas in place to say, hey, we're going to do two months of television. They have to know where things are going and where things are progressing. So we just got to keep a real close eye on, you know, these matches, these storylines. And, you know, um, it's been a while since they've done block tapings like that. And usually by the end of the tapings, people get very drained even as the viewer because it's not in line with some things going on in in real time to where now with the shorter tapings they can adjust um let me know your thoughts in the comments about them doing two months of empty arena shows anything you want to say and i'll talk to you soon peace